Hello everybody, I'm Oliver from Blenders.com and today I'm here to continue with the series of videos about versioning. In this third one, and this is the last, we are going to just discuss a little bit about the previous two ones, okay? So we have talked about how to use instances and shape keys for versioning and exploring different variations of our model. Uh, so this is great. Now in this one I would like to talk about the pros and cons of each of the methods. Uh, compare them a bit and uh, talk, uh, give you a recommendation, a personal recommendation on when to use each of them. Uh, so let's start by saying that instances, for example, are really great when you are in the first stages of your model, uh, because you are in this stage, you are extruding, you are beveling, you are duplicating geometry, you are adding and subtracting geometry, basically. Remember that shape keys cannot handle this. Uh, shape keys are only meant to change the proportions of a model, change the scale, change the rotation, uh, the position of the vertices, but not add or subtract geometry. If you add or subtract geometry when uh, in a shape key, all of the rest will be affected and most probably they will be broken. So you don't want to do this. So when you are adding or subtracting geometry, you want to use instances. This is one of the limitations that you should keep in mind. Then once you're done with this, uh, shape keys are great, as I said before, for proportions. If you want to check proportions and test different proportions of your model without changing the geometry, this is great. Now, there is not a limitation that you have to keep in mind, and it has to do with what I mentioned already, but uh, it's, you know, sometimes when you're modeling, especially very complex models, sometimes you want to apply a modifier to some part of the mesh, because probably you want to deform it using a lattice modifier, whatever. So you want to apply this modifier. Well, we have a problem. In the video about instances, I told you to use the F button, all right, remember, the fake user, and uh, it happens that um, apparently you cannot apply a modifier to a multi-user object. Um, this is normal, uh, okay? This is put there in place as a safety, uh, for a safety reason, basically, because sometimes when you have different instances displaying the same, the same mesh, uh, you maybe don't want to apply a modifier by accident and affect all of them. Maybe you only want to affect the one you're working with. So Blender suggests that uh, you apply, that you make this instance unique before applying the modifier. Okay, when we're working with uh, with uh, versions, it's not the same. Okay, we don't really care about the other users of this mesh because there is none. Uh, there are none. Uh, we only have the fake user and that we do it only for saving different versions. Uh, remember that we are using instances as a, a way of, uh, you know, saving different versions of the model. We want to use the F button because there are no other users. We are only seeing one of the, of the versions and the other ones, we want them to be saved. Because if we don't save them, uh, there is no versioning thing, <laughs> okay? We need different versions if we want to do the versioning. So this is what happens. Uh, if you want to apply a modifier, you just press the F button, disable the fake user, apply the modifier, and enable the fake user again. It's that simple. This is how you work around this limitation. Um, now, as a, I, I would like to finish by giving you a personal recommendation on how and when to use this um, both methods, right? Uh, because uh, as we have seen so far, uh, instances are very good for when we are adding and subtracting geometry. Shape keys are very good when we want to tweak the proportions. Now, there is a very important thing as it, uh, obviously we cannot mix them together. We cannot use together the both, both methods because we cannot add and subtract geometry using instances and uh, at the same time change proportions with uh, shape keys because uh, if we change the instance to another version, we will lose the shape keys, so it makes no sense. But we can intercalate both methods to get the most out of both. And uh, we, you know, this would be a normal workflow. Uh, as, as, uh, and, and this is how I do it, actually. So f first, you start by uh, adding, subtracting geometry, all this sort of thing, until you reach a point in which you are pretty s safe uh, and pretty secure that this is what you want. Now, when you are done with that, uh, you start working with shape keys. You use shape keys until you are ready and you are you have the right proportions, you mix the different shape keys as you want and you apply them as I showed you in the second video. And uh, once they are applied, you can keep working with instances and you can reach another point in which you may like to play again with uh, shape keys and the proportions. So as you can see, you can intercalate the methods and uh, take the most out of both. So 
this is it. I hope you like this uh, series of videos and that you find them useful. Um, I, I would suggest that you, you try this method if you're interested because uh, I use it myself and I find it very, very nice. So uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. See you soon. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you liked it uh, because there are more tutorials in one way. And uh, happy blending. Mm -hmm.